Hello my friend, in this video I'm going to be comparing Kofi with Patreon. So if you're looking for a membership or simply a way for your audience to have a, a, the ability to support you with donations or anything like that, this is going to be the video for you. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. So the main difference between Kofi and Patreon is that Patreon focuses on really serious recurring memberships and Kofi is a bit more geared towards casual content creators uh, or anyone who's looking to dip their toes with memberships or with monetization. So although you'll definitely find that Kofi offers more while charging you less, it is important that you understand the costs and features of each of these platforms so that you can pick the right one that aligns really with your goals as a content creator and how your workflow is as a content creator as well. In addition to this, you actually may want to even combine Patreon's more serious recurring memberships, um, re recurring membership tiers with Kofi's ability to offer simple one-off donations and products and commissions with Kofi's shop. So let's dive a little bit deeper into this. Um, and before I do, I want to let you know that I've also written an article on this topic, as you can see here. So if you'd like to follow along, or if you simply prefer reading instead of listening to an annoying voice like mine, you can go ahead and Google Kofi versus Patreon Best Friends Club. And also, by the way, I actually did Google it. How to pronounce Kofi? It is. Uh, they answered it on Twitter right here, so you can see how do you pronounce Kofi? You ask. It rhymes with no fee, so that would be Kofi. So let's go back into this. So the main difference is between Patreon and Kofi. So when choosing between Patreon and Kofi, it's important that you at least look at what they allow you to offer your audience, what features they offer you, and how their pricing works to help find the main differences, and that way you can choose the right one. So Patreon and Kofi offer very similar features, however the main difference is that Kofi is more for casual content creators, again, or anyone looking to dip their toes into membership or monetization, while Patreon is really for more uh, creators that want to seriously push a recurring membership. So Kofi is a lot similar to uh, Buy Me a Coffee, and you can check out a video where I compare Patreon and, and Buy Me a Coffee right above here. Uh, and that's because there's a bigger focus on offering a very simple way for your supporters to say thank you with less pressure for both creators and their supporters. Patreon's heavier focus on pushing recurring membership means that you will likely generate a more regular income, but will be committed to creating bonus content in addition to the content that you put out on a very consistent basis. Uh, this will be for your membership tiers in order for them to be really effective and for patrons to actually want to stick around and keep paying that recurring um, monthly membership fee. In, addi in addition to this, both Patreon and Ko-fi allow you to create a hosted page and have a Discord integration available. However, you should know that both have little to no discovery features available, which means that you will need to do all of the work when you're trying to bring people to your page and convince them to sign up. If you want to little, learn a little bit more about how you can actually get supporters to you know, support your, you in any kind of way, I do have a video above which you can check up here. Um, finally, when it comes to pricing, Kofi, Kofi has one of the most generous pricing plans around for sure, and it is definitely simpler and more generous than what Patreon offers. Jumping right into that, Kofi takes 0% platform fees uh, on any donations, and they take a 5% cut on memberships, shop purchases, uh, and commissions, and this could actually be turned into a 0% cut if you subscribe to their Kofi Ko Gold plan, which is only $6 per month. So it's pretty generous all around. And when you compare that to the fact that Patreon has three different plans and they take anywhere between 5 and 12% and have different like features for each, which we will dive into later in this article, it's clear that Kofi has a much simpler, more generous pricing. So how can you really make the, the right choice between these? What we'll do is we will go over Kofi first and then we'll go over Patreon second, going over a bunch of different key differences and similarities that you should definitely know. So first off, why would you want to choose Kofi over Patreon? So when compared to Patreon, Kofi is a much more relaxed platform that is focused on providing simple ways for your supporters to say thank you and show their support through a donation or a membership or a purchase in the shop there. Similar to Buy Me a Coffee, Kofi can be viewed as more of an online tip jar where supporters can where supporters can give donations to creators for what they are already creating without asking them for too much in return for that donation. Kofi is perfect for more casual content creators or anyone looking to dip their toes in offering memberships since creators are not obligated or pressured to create content regularly and supporters are not committed to donating regularly. Although it is still possible to create some kind of sustainable income with Kofi, uh, this platform may not be for you if you are looking to run a more serious membership platform that generates a lot of income on a monthly basis because there is less of a fire under your bum pushing you to actually grow that income and 
push out content new month and all that kind of stuff. So let's take a closer look at these two uh, before diving into Patreon. So what does Ko-Fi allow you to offer your audience? So you can use Ko-Fi to offer your audience the ability to support you with one-off donations as well as recurring memberships. The nice thing about Kofi's membership is that you are able to offer different recurring membership tiers that have different price points and benefits just like you can with Patreon. In addition to the one-off uh, donations and those membership tiers, you can also offer products in the by creating a Kofi shop and accept commissions or requests for unique work as well. In addition to this, you can create members only and public posts with Kofi. However, it is much more stripped down in terms of what you types of posts you can create um, and who you can share it to. So the main difference there is that uh, Kofi really just has like text, audio, video, and images. Patreon has quite a few more, which we'll go over in a bit. And then again, just like with Patreon, you're able to create a hosted page with Kofi and there's a Discord integration available. So when it comes to discovery features what do we are what are we looking at here with Kofi uh, the main discovery feature that Kofi has is a dedicated explore page on their website that showcases featured creators as well as a way for people to search for different creators uh, both with a search bar and under different categories however really just like with patreon you will need to do all the work to bring you know people over to your Kofi page and convince them to actually want to support you and this is why having an actual audience off of Kofi or any of these membership platforms uh, is super important important. Um, now diving into how Kofi's pricing works. So Kofi has one of the most generous pricing plans out there and is definitely, definitely a lot simpler and more generous when you're comparing it specifically to Patreon. So Kofi creator accounts are free to set up and they take 0% platform fees on any one-off donations that come your way and they take a 5% cut on any recurring memberships, shop purchases, and commission sales. Uh, what's particularly awesome about this is the fact that you can actually have that 5% cut removed if you subscribe to the Kofi Gold uh, plan, which is only $6 per month, and it'll also give you access to a couple of extra features like high-res downloads, setting a custom price for donations, having a shorter Kofi username, being able to integrate Google Analytics, and having the option, like I mentioned, to create public or supporter-only posts. And also definitely keep in mind that just like with really any of these platforms, uh, there will be payment processing fees for like PayPal or credit cards, where, which will be subtracted um, for any transaction that you receive on Kofi. Moving on to from what you're actually the pricing is, how long does it actually take to get paid using Kofi? So it is much easier to get paid with Kofi when compared to Patreon, uh, as you instantly get paid instead of having to build up a monthly balance or hit a minimum withdrawal threshold as you do with Patreon, which we'll dive into in a bit. Um, in terms of analytics, Kofi does offer analytics through an integration with Google Analytics. Um, however, it's only for any creator that is subscribed to Kofi Gold, and then from there you can kind of see uh, where page visitors are coming from, how they found you, what page count are on your certain posts sorry to judge which is more popular that kind of thing and then moving into the idea is Kofi actually safe and legit to use so from what I gather Kofi is safe to use for anyone that wants to sign up as a creator or wants to sign up to support any creators although it isn't as popular or widely used as Patreon uh, Kofi has been around a little bit longer since 2012 and has definitely proven to be a safe and legit platform in that time and lastly in terms of Kofi's support Kofi has fairly solid customer support with ways to get help through a knowledge base and ways to contact them through a public email or simple contact form that doesn't have too many fields so all in all Kofi seems like a pretty solid offering um, considering they don't charge too much and they very rarely will um, like actually take any money from you with the zero percent fees and the ability to just for six bucks uh, turn it into zero percent fees for anything that you offer pretty it's pretty sweet little platform for sure so moving on to more of the patreon side and why would you potentially choose patreon over kofi so when compared to kofi there is a much bigger focus on recurring memberships with patreon and it really is a platform for creators that have specific and ongoing projects like releasing videos or content on a regular basis because there's more of a focus on committing to regular content patreon can be seen a bit more as a serious option to creating a sustainable uh, career for creators. If you want to seriously push a recurring membership to your audience, then Patreon is likely to be a better option for you when compared to Kofi. So what do you actually get to, you know, you allow to push to your audience, offer to your audience with Patreon? 
Although it is possible to accept one-time donations with Patreon, the real focus here is on getting patrons to choose between one of the membership tiers that you've created that have different prices and benefits or perks on a monthly or annual basis. In addition to this, Patreon allows you to fulfill merch tier membership tiers and either get paid monthly or per creation. Um, and although both Patreon and Kofi have the ability to create members only or public posts, like I mentioned, Patreon has many more post types to choose from, including text, photo, audio, video, live stream, polls, and some more. And you can actually send messages depending on the tier that people are at and just like with Kofi you're able to create a hosted page on Patreon and there is a Discord integration available so you can see here with things like the membership tiers and being able pay to get paid monthly or per creation really the focus is on like you want to be putting out a lot of content you want to be taking it a lot more seriously and because of that using these features and what Patreon gives you and just following what their focus is you'll be able to ideally create a more sustainable and recurring income stream from this. So moving on to discovery features. So Patreon does not have any discovery features that will help potential supporters actually find your Patreon page. Patreon is a membership platform and is in no way a discovery platform, which means you will need to do all of the work bringing people to your Patreon page and actually convincing them to sign up, very similar to Kofi. Uh, and in terms of pricing, so this one's definitely interesting when comparing to Kofi because when compared to Kofi, Patreon's pricing is much more complex and takes a lot more away from you as a creator. Patreon has three different plans available to creators that all have no monthly upfront fees or sign-up costs, and instead, Patreon will take 5 to 12% of the monthly income that you earn on Patreon in addition to any standard payment processing fees. So there is the light plan, the pro plan, and the premium plan. The light plan will take 5%, but you can't have the individual membership tiers. The pro plan is the one you'll probably want to take. It takes 8% away, and that's where you can actually do like the individual membership tiers. That's like what Patreon's bread and butter really is. If you want to learn a bit more about this, uh, there is a Patreon pricing kind of explained video that I did that you can dive into that a lot more in detail. And moving on to that, how long does it take to actually get paid when using Patreon? So again, it's a bit more of a hassle getting paid with Patreon when compared to Kofi, because after choosing a Patreon plan, getting your first patrons to join and having their payments actually become processed, you will be able to receive your payout minus those Patreon platform fees and payment processing fees on a monthly basis. Although Patreon process payments on the first of each month, they recommend that all creators wait until the fifth to allow Patreon some time to recover any declined payments. So once that kind of thresholds hit the month on that monthly basis and it's processed then you can withdraw it or you can set up auto withdrawals on the fifth of the month in terms of analytics uh similar to kofi patreon only provides analytics to creators that are on their pro plan or their paid plan there and the analytics that patreon provides includes data on patreon page posts income number of patrons income growth all that kind of stuff in addition to a integration with google analytics in terms of like legitness and safety patreon is definitely safe for anyone that wants to sign up as a creator or wants to sign up to support other creators. Patreon has been around since 2013, so just about a year after Patreon, which I find interesting, and it's been definitely proven to be safe and legit. Although Ko-Fi has been uh, around a bit longer than Patreon, I think it's kind of safe to say that there is more brand recognition with Patreon and it is more widely used as well. In terms of Patreon support, Patreon really has kind of mediocre support that is just a bit more frustrating when compared to the level of support that Ko-Fi provides. Uh, Patreon does offer weekly demo sessions where you can ask questions, which is nice, uh, but the main thing is that you're going to want to contact them through Twitter or a very detailed contact form on their website, which has several fields to fill out depending on what your request is. Uh, the main thing here is that both Kofi and Patreon use contact forms. Just Patreon's is a lot more detailed and will take longer to fill out. They have like, you need to do the request and then based on that request, there's going to be all these custom things you need to fill out. It's, it's definitely more of a hassle. Um, but yeah, that's really a breakdown of that. If you want to check out the article uh, that I mentioned, there will also be a link in the description. We'll also go into how to get supporters and an audience that supports your art, as well as how to create effective membership tiers uh, for your Patreon or your membership uh, platform that you end up do choosing, as well as how to build a contact an actual content plan for your membership that keeps supporters coming back and helps you figure out how you can actually fulfill the individual membership tiers that you create. So that really is a I think a summary of these two different platforms. Um, they both seem pretty good. I think the, basically the main thing is that Patreon is a lot more for, it's very serious about the recurring memberships. Uh, there's gonna be a lot more pressure on you as a creator to be putting out content on a regular basis. Uh, and it's a little bit potentially more of a harder sell in terms of the fact that you're gonna wanna figure out how to offer really nice membership tiers so that um, 
so that these potential patrons actually sign up and then you're gonna have to make sure that you actually keep fulfilling the membership tiers too which can be quite a bit of work if you want to learn a little bit more about structuring membership tiers and that kind of stuff i will link to a video above uh, that i go quite in detail about that and then in comparison to that kofi just seems a lot more laid back it's a lot more chill both from creators because um you there's no real pressure to like uh, there's no real exchange almost where um, there's no pressure for <laughs> supporters to donate to you on a regular basis and because of this the way that it's more of like kind of an online tip jar uh, when you do get a donation there's doesn't seem like there's as much pressure for you to actually like put out stuff and oh god I gotta put out stuff on a weekly basis a monthly basis that kind of stuff that stuff is seems a lot more up Patreon's alley. Um, so anyways, hopefully that ramble wasn't annoying and you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe if you found it useful. And other than that, good luck on selecting your membership or you know donation platform, whether it's Ko-fi, Patreon, or anything else. If you want to check out some other alternatives to Patreon, I will also link to the video above where I go over a bunch of them, including Ko-fi, Buy Me a Coffee, a bunch of other ones. Um, good luck on whatever you end up doing with the membership stuff, and uh, see you in the next video, my friend. Have a good one. Bye.